talking quite a bit more so I'm sorry in advance guys uh, but today I wanted to do a tips for going vegan video because it's coming up to my six month vegan anniversary so I thought that in honor of that it might be nice to kind of talk about a few of the things that hello puppy okay so let's carry on now that the dog is comfy <laughs> So I just wanted to talk about a few of the things that I found really important when I was transitioning to veganism a couple of months ago. Um, and I, I found videos like this really, really helpful. So I thought it might be nice to try doing my own and hopefully help a few other people like other YouTubers helped me. So here we go. These are my top five tips for going vegan. research I cannot stress how important this is and this goes beyond watching just the vegan documentaries which are fantastic I, I would definitely recommend earthlings for ethical reasons forks over knives for health reasons and uh, cowspiracy for environmental reasons they are the the holy trinity of all vegan documentaries so I would definitely recommend them um, if you want some kind of extra motivation for going vegan or you kind of need that final push to get there but beyond that the research is super important and particularly researching your nutritional needs and how to meet them as a vegan because you really want to make sure that you're getting all the goodness that you need to function properly so definitely do a good bit of research on vegan sources of calcium sources of iron and of course the ever-burning question of where vegans get their protein there's so many fantastic websites and resources out there to get all that information you need so go out and look for it because it is super important that you are feeding your body with the right stuff. Another aspect of research that is really important for a newer potential vegan is researching how to eat out as a vegan. And I really can't stress this enough because it can feel really restrictive to not feel like you can eat out purely because you don't know what you can have. Even if your vegan meal prep is absolutely on point. It's so nice to be able to go out and enjoy a meal out with friends as well and just you know have that social aspect of eating still there even as a vegan I mean that's something that I found really tough in the beginning I really felt like I couldn't eat out anywhere that I was just stuck with eating at home not being able to go out with friends and family and enjoying a meal together but that is so not true take the time to go online or ring up restaurants and just see what's out there it's amazing I would definitely recommend veganuary.com for chain restaurant options um, they have a really comprehensive list of restaurants that you can find all over Ireland and Great Britain also check with individual restaurants whether it's online or just giving them a call on the phone being a bit old-fashioned about it because there's so many places out there that do have vegan options you really would be surprised so don't be afraid to research have a look see what you can find because I guarantee there'll be something out there. So never feel like you're stuck that way. Do your research. <music> Tip for going vegan is to get inspired. Um, I definitely recommend having a look at the different vegans that are putting their food out there on say Instagram or YouTube or other social media platforms like that because I mean you can get some incredible ideas for the huge variety of foods that you can eat as a vegan. I swear we don't just survive on like lettuce and porridge with soy milk. There's so much out there and it's, it's really amazing. I would definitely recommend in particular the likes of what I eat in a day videos because you get breakfast, lunch and dinner ideas and it just makes it seem so doable. All those different vegan meals seem really attainable, really easy to do and it just makes it seem less intimidating as well. So I would definitely 
recommend having a look at the different vegan YouTubers, vegan Instagrammers, all that kind of jazz for different ideas just to keep the inspiration up there and so you don't end up feeling stuck in a rut. My third tip, and this is another pretty important one, is to do what works for you. At the end of the day, your vegan journey is your own and it's not gonna necessarily be the same as somebody else's. I mean, some people go vegan overnight, I mean, that's what I did, and then other people go vegan gradually or maybe go vegetarian first for a while or maybe start phasing things out, like phasing out red meat one week, chicken the next, egg the next week, you know, whatever works for you, as long as you get there. That's the main goal, it doesn't matter how. And I mean, I know some people find it easy to go straight to say, whole foods plant-based vegan. And that's fine, that's great. Whereas other people might need to say, rely a bit more on say meat substitutes, cheese substitutes, things like that, as while well they get going or even all the way through their vegan journey. And that's absolutely fine too. I mean, whatever keeps you vegan, that's the most important thing. It doesn't matter how you go about it. Just make sure that you're getting the nutrients you need and that you're doing what works for you and what makes you happy. <music> Nearly there now, guys, I promise. Um, my fourth tip is to ignore negativity. This is really important. Um, I know when you just discover veganism and you just you know, research it and you know that it's what you want to do and you're so excited about it and you're full of the joys of spring and full of the vegan love and then somebody kind of shoots you down and knocks the wind out of your sail and doesn't support you. It can really be a little bit soul destroying, especially when it's somebody you really care about. I know I've had a little bit of experience of getting shtick from people, calling me a herbivore, saying that I'm not going to get my nutrients. Um, that I'm going to be weak, that I'm going to get sick, that I'm going to be crippled with osteoporosis by the time I'm 40 and it really makes my blood boil um, but you know at the end of the day you just have to tune it out and keep in mind why you're doing this, why you want to be vegan, whether it's for ethical reasons, whether it's for the planet, whether it's for your health or a combination of all those three, you just think about that and just keep doing your thing, keep on trucking. And I know a lot of people might come across resistance from their family, in particular young potential vegans. Um, they might have family members saying that they're gonna get sick, that they're not gonna be healthy. And at the end of the day, while this is really irritating and it can be quite upsetting, you have to bear in mind that your family and the people who love you are really coming at you from a place of love and they're just doing it because they care about you. They want to make sure you're healthy. They want to make sure you're getting everything you need. So do bear that in mind. They love you and they want to make sure you're okay. So use your, your research, like tip one. Um, use what you know, share that information with you to reassure them that you're gonna be okay and this is a great lifestyle and you're gonna be completely healthy and you're gonna be fine because they just want the best for you. So, you know, just do bear that in mind if you're meeting any resistance from your family or the people that love you. But, you know, main thing is, don't let the negativity get you down and knock the wind out of your sails. Just, you do you, boo. first time is a bit of an adventure. Just enjoy it. Give it socks. I mean, try new foods, new recipes, things you wouldn't have tried before. I mean, you're not necessarily going to like everything. All the kitchen experiments aren't going to work out, but that's okay. It's all part of the process. Just enjoy it. Make the most out of it. It shouldn't be this, this chore that's dull and laborious. It should be exciting and it's it's something new so make the most out of this new experience and I mean whether you're a new vegan or you've been at it for years just keep experimenting keep trying new things that you you know you never know what you might love just always be experimenting always be trying something new 
because it, it just makes the whole experience so much more fun and exciting and that's what it should be. So that is it. Those are my top five tips for going vegan. That's what I found to be the most important parts of the beginning of my vegan journey and I hope they helped and I wish anybody just starting out as a vegan or just thinking about going vegan the very best of luck and just well done you. Veganism is such a fantastic lifestyle and it's so enjoyable and it feels so worthwhile as well. I mean, you really get the warm fuzzies inside from going vegan. So well done, best of luck. And if you have any questions about veganism, never be afraid to give me a shout, either in the comments below or even on my Instagram. Okay, bye guys, we'll see you soon.